Cane bleaching, whitening, lightening is very common among African, Asian, Caribbean, and Middle East women. Listen to Nigerian musician Femi Kuti, how he defined it. When the bleaching propaganda was getting so negative, they had to come up with toning. So it's, see, bleaching, it sounds too hard. Now it's toning. I'm not, I don't bleach, I tone. This is the process of using substances, mixtures, or topical treatments to lighten one's skin color. Skin whitening works by reducing the content of melanin present in the skin. Most often, the flawless clear skin obtained through bleaching is not permanent, but needs to be maintained using other whitening products. The truth is that skin bleaching does not get rid of melanin permanently, basically because the skin is in constant renewal through the formation of new melanin by melanocytes, which are melanin-producing cells. Melanin is a group of natural pigments which give the skin and hair their characteristics color. The different degrees of color is determined by the amount of melanin pigment that an individual contains. This also acts as skin's own sunscreen that protects it from harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun, aging and skin cancer. Skin is the largest organ of the human body. Under the skin, there are lots of blood vessels and when you apply this cream all over the body, they are absorbed into the bloodstream. And long-term exposure to these skin bleaching products can lead to systemic absorption which eventually leads to organ failure. Certain parts of the body are easy to bleach while Others like knuckle, knees, and elbows are difficult to bleach. And these are the parts that normally give the person out. In many parts of Africa, light skinned women are considered to be more beautiful, more successful, and more likely to get spousal attraction. Listen to this Senegalese woman as she summarizes it. Senegalese men love light skinned women. When you have a light complexion, people look at you admiringly and it's easier to find a husband. In addition, if you're looking for a job and you have fairer skin, it really increases your chances. I don't mind the risks. I'll keep lightening my skin. Nigeria has 77% of its female population using skin lightening products, which are mostly bought from open markets or over the counter. In a market in Lagos, business is booming in shops selling skin lightening products. The shop's owner told us that she also mixes different creams for customers, depending on their desired level of lightness. So Ghanaians are also not left out in this practice. Listen to this media report. Most Ghanaians who bleach their skin use over-the-counter creams, which are often knockoffs imported from China and India. Long-term use of hydroquinone, one of the main ingredients, has been linked to disfiguring skin conditions. Other harmful ingredients include mercury and steroid, and this can cause an irreversible damage to the skin with prolonged use. The World Health Organization has banned the active ingredients hydroquinone and mercury from skin products. South Africa, Kenya, Ivory Coast and Ghana also banned the cosmetics containing these components. But these creams, soaps and lotions are still flooding Africa's markets. The popularity of skin lightening is growing because it is believed to increase attractiveness, social standing and improves one's potential of being successful. This is only mythical and one must not confirm to the look the media and the society are promoting. Women are not alone in this business. We also have some men who are interested in their looks and are using this skin bleaching product. For me, skin bleaching is synonymous to low self-esteem, mental slavery and self-hate. Why do we hate our color so much and where are we going with this madness? A lot of brainwashing and media misrepresentation. Listen to Comfort Arthur from Ghana on what she got to say. I don't blame people that bleach sometimes because it's what we see around us. You get images of light-skinned girls. You, if you watch music videos, it's always light-skinned girls. If you watch um, singers, light-skinned girls with straight hair. Actually, on this issue, media is not helping matter at all. They are flooding our streets with big billboard advertisements, which shows women with lighter complexion as the most beautiful. I miss the old advert of Uncle Cream promoting blackness. Beauty is a compilation of other innate qualities, including shape and color. And remember, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. There was a dove advert on Facebook showing how different women of ethnicity transitioned into a pale colored woman, even though the company eventually apologized, saying that it was only a misinterpretation of the original message. But this kind of advert is popular among skincare industry, just to portray that black is there. Other skincare brands such as Nivea are also not left out in this ad trend. But you must not confirm to this trend. Right on your screen is a clip of Chinese detergent advertisement found showing how a black man transitioned into a white man after being washed in a washing machine. For years, this racist advertisement portraying black as dairy and undesirable has been integrated into the promotional advert and this slowly affects our subconscious mind of always thinking light skins are the best. When will this mental slavery end? When are we going to come out of this? Skin bleaching can be a good option in getting rid of hyperpigmentation, dark spots or skin discoloration but not free from side effects. 
effects. The active ingredients in these cosmetic products are hydroquinone, mercury, and corticosteroids. Several additives or concussion are also used, which makes the side effects very severe because the quantity of these harmful substances are unknown. These products are not to be used for more than five months at a time because of its potential adverse skin reactions with prolonged use. And make sure the hydroquinone content is not more than 2%. Avoid mercury products completely. Some of these complications include facial acne, black pigmentation, impaired wood healing, fish odor syndrome, stretch marks, exogenous and chronosis, staining of the skin, and predisposition to infection. The professor of dermatology by name Edmond Dell has got some medical advice. Because the majority of them do it from the face, the hands, they are absorbed in the bloodstream. And since some of these creams they use for bleaching contain metals, heavy metals like mercury, lead, they are absorbed in the bloodstream and they affect your brain, they affect your kidney, and they also affect your liver. With long-term use of these products, one can develop nephrotic syndrome, acute mercury poisoning, and eventual organ failure. Kindly stay away from these products, and any cosmetic product without a clearly written chemical composition should not be purchased. Embrace your color, love yourself, boost your self-confidence, and emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Let the promotion and respect for blackness start with you, otherwise nobody is going to do that. And most importantly, trust yourself. I want to, um, Black Barbie, the film that I did, I wanted to educate um, the viewers about self-love to love the skin that you are in regardless of what shade you are in this brings us to the end of this video leave your comments below say no to bleaching by liking and sharing this video subscribe to this channel for more videos